Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be doing my embarrassing stories part two. Hey, I have merch lol, it's pretty cute, you should check it out, thank you, and on to the schedule program. My whole life is just an embarrassment, it's pretty embarrassing, and I have so many stories to tell you. This is part two, so if that doesn't give you an idea of how embarrassing my life is, I don't know what will. In my last video, I said that I wanted to read your guys' embarrassing stories, and I made a Google form for that, so make sure that you check that out and fill it out because I eventually want to do reading your guys' embarrassing stories. I've had the form open for almost two weeks now, and I've gotten some submissions, but I would like more, so really add in your juicy embarrassing stories and just give it your all it's completely anonymous i don't even know like who submitted it so it's it's literally anonymous just do it get that embarrassing story off your chest anyways without further ado let's just get on to mine all right the first one that we have today is very unfortunate and pretty traumatizing to say the least so this was in fourth grade and at lunch i got into a pretty bad fight with a friend and like we were literally pulling each other's hair i don't remember what the fight was about at all this girl she wasn't even that great of a friend like she just always was causing drama and she continued to do that throughout high school but you know whatever it's fine um but she was my friend at the time and we got into a fight at lunch and so whatever we went out to recess and i just didn't hang out with her during recess because of the fight and out of nowhere i'm in the field I don't remember what I was doing. Maybe tossing a ball with someone. I don't know. She pantsed me in the field. Luckily, my underwear stayed up. Thank God. I'm so grateful for that. I don't even know who ended up seeing it because it was such a quick thing. Like, she did it and I immediately pulled it up. But Jesus. All my friends were, like, there. So they all saw it. And then it's just... One, super mean. Two, so embarrassing for me. Three, what did she even get out of that? I don't understand. So, yeah, that kind of sucked. But whatever okay the next one is like something that you really shouldn't be embarrassing but it just straight up was embarrassing i think we always have those moments that like shouldn't be embarrassing but it just is so in eighth grade gym class we were like having one of our intramural days which was like we had different options on what we could do usually that happened on fridays and i decided to go with playing volleyball because i always thought volleyball was cool and i was like not the worst at it i was pretty good at serving so i did volleyball and everything was fine and then and me and this dude went for the ball at the same time i called it out he didn't but apparently i guess i didn't call it out loud enough because he fell on top of me and my ankle like like twisted a bit i don't think i broke it but it was sore for like a week after so just a minor sprain or something but like it was just mortifying i was like on the floor and i was like in pain in my ankle and just like you know everyone in that room was like <gasps> And I was like, oh my god, a boy just fell on top of me and hurt me. <laughs> this is the worst part and it just came back into my memory. So obviously I was hurt, so they let me like, you know, be done for the day. So I was walking back to the locker rooms and like in the doorway, like where the door is like on the ground there's like a layer of metal and there's like the tiniest gap between like the metal and the actual floor my shoelace which was untied because of the whole incident got stuck and i literally like tripped as i was walking to the locker rooms and everyone saw that too so that was just highlight of my life oh my god this next one <sighs> I like think about it like all the time. I hated it so much and I was just mortified. So basically I just was trying to email my teacher. This was in sixth grade and we had like an assessment over like some article. I don't remember what it was called but it had the word dust in it and I like was going to email her and I emailed on my phone phone or maybe it was my ipad i don't think i'd have phone at that time and i was emailing her and i think i meant to like press cancel because i like needed to check on something but instead of cancel i pressed send but i had already started typing something and what i had typed i had typed in the subject dust ass because i meant to say dust assessment because it was like an assessment over the dust article thing and i just typed dust ass press send so my teacher just received an email that said with the subject dust 
with no content in it. And I was freaking out. I was like, oh my, because I was in sixth grade. I sent her a swear word. <clears throat> and I like emailed her and I even had my mom email her and be like, that was such a mistake. Olivia you did not mean to do that. Oh my God. And, oh, that was just awful. I was so embarrassed to go to school. She didn't even say anything to me about it when I got to school, but... Oh, I just I really hated that moment. <laughs> this next one is not necessarily embarrassing, but I think it's great to add in here. So I don't know why, but I used to like often get bloody noses when I was younger, like between like second and fourth grade. I don't know. It was just bloody nose central for me. And I got a bloody nose during class in second grade. And I was wearing my absolute favorite Selena Gomez shirt because I was obsessed with her. And when my nose started bleeding, like I panicked. I didn't like, I didn't know where the tissue box was. So I just was at my desk and I used my shirt and I was like this with my beautiful Selena Gomez shirt and I look over to like the person that's sitting next to me and I was like hi um can I get a tissue <laughs> and they were like oh my god uh, sure and then they were like mrs whatever my teacher name is Olivia's having bloody nose and then they sent me to the nurse's office and because my shirt was covered in blood they had to give me like a shirt from lost and found and that really sucked because my Selena Gomez shirt was ruined and I was had to wear someone else's shirt for the rest of the day so I don't know if that's necessarily embarrassing but it was a moment that I definitely hated all right this is another quick one I don't remember what grade this was I just know it was elementary school I feel like it was first grade but I don't know so I had this water bottle and for some reason every time I opened this water bottle it would just shoot up the tiniest amount of water every time I popped it open and one time at lunch like I was popping it open and this time it decided to literally shoot up a whole entire stream to the ceiling I'm not even kidding at my elementary school like we had like normal ceilings in the cafeteria like the normal like 10 feet tall or whatever because it's an elementary school they don't need it to be huge so i guess it wasn't like too too high but just like to be sitting at a lunch table shooting up it caught everyone's attention and that was just not needed i did not i don't like getting attention i don't like people just going and i'm like you know so that's kind of embarrassing Okay, this next one is one that is just so embarrassing. One of the most like highlighted, most embarrassing moments of my whole entire school life. So strap in your seatbelts and get ready. So in seventh grade, I had like a boyfriend and pretty much everyone knew about it. And he was in my math class. Basically one day, it was towards like the end-ish of the school year our teacher like finally let us like choose our own math groups and of course i'm gonna choose my little boyfriend so i had a math group with my boyfriend and my best friend so naturally my teacher seeing me choosing to be with a boy she just like was like hmm, olivia and uh, i'm gonna give a fake name olivia and joe hmm. so she didn't want to ask us directly because you know she didn't want to like make us uncomfortable on the spot but it did anyways she asked like because she basically knew like i had a huge friend group all in that class so she asked someone else in my friend group about it and they're like yeah like joe and olivia are dating and she just like the whole entire class goes silent and like they're all just like kind of staring at us and i was like what and then she goes oh my god olivia and I literally, my face turned so freaking red, like, mm, it was like so red. And then the worst part, this kid goes, Oh my god, Olivia, your face is turning as red as your shirt. Because I was wearing a red shirt. And that was just the worst part of it all. My heart like just went to my stomach because I was so embarrassed and... I don't know how to explain it. It's just that was like one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. One, I don't want my teacher to know who I'm dating. Two, someone not acknowledging how red my face is in front of the whole entire class. Why? Yeah, so that was um highlight of my seventh grade life. Okay, this next one is also very embarrassing, but it's also just kind of funny and it like it's a joke now. So I think this was like an anti-formal party that I had and like I had a few friends over and I had my boyfriend and then like these two other people my two other friends um, who were dating at the time and like the other people had left so it's just me and my boyfriend and then my two other friends that were dating at the time and you know like you know how whenever like you're in a group and sometimes you just like really have to fart but you're holding it in all night and it's like kind of like very hard to hold in but like you can do it well <laughs> there was a point where my boyfriend was like tickling me in front of them and then like he went and grabbed me and like 
spun me over him on the floor and you know when he grabbed me and spun me over him it squeezed the fart out of me first off i had never farted in front of my boyfriend because we were still like pretty fresh in our relationship second off i had those two other people there and as soon as my fart came out of me they were staring at me my boyfriend was staring at me but they had no idea if it was me or my boyfriend who made the fart but eventually you know it came out that it was me because obviously my boyfriend I was just laughing so hard about it because it was the first fart I've ever done in front of him. And I can vividly just remember the sound of the fart that came out of me because of how embarrassed I was about it. So, I don't know. That was just like a really funny moment and it's occasionally joked about still. But, you know, what a great way to do your first fart in front of your boyfriend. Okay, this next one is just like really gross, but it was also mortifying. So, I'm a girl. I have my period and the trash can in the bathroom that me and my brother shared like did not have like a closed lid and one day my dog who's not even supposed to come upstairs but she found her way came upstairs and you know I've heard a lot of dogs do this they like to chew on pads and tampons so my dog was chewing on my pad and tampon and she dragged it out into our upstairs hallway and made a mess but my brother like literally had no idea what it was so he picked it up and <laughs> he thought it was a burrito he called down I was downstairs he was like Liv um Bella it got into your burrito and I was like that's not a burrito and then he dropped it and he was like Bleh! and started gagging because it's my bloody pad so that was that was a rough patch I have two more stories I know this video is kind of long but I'm gonna finish it off because there's only two more this next one was in sixth grade choir and basically I'm gonna make it really short the teacher had asked a question but it wasn't one that he like wanted an answer to so he asked the question and some kid in my row yelled out the answer which the answer was two so he was like oh what's this and this and the kid was like two and though I don't know why but it was so funny to me him saying that that I could not stop laughing the whole class ten minutes later I'm still laughing. My teacher came up to me. He's like, Olivia, do I need to put you out in the hallway? Do you need to calm down? And you know, like the whole entire class heard him say that to me. I was like, <laughs> no. So that was very embarrassing. Um, yeah. And my last one, I don't have a distinct memory of this happening, but I vaguely remember it happening. So basically, I am deaf in this year. And I had an ear infection one day in this year, so my hearing was very, very low. But I still went to school. Don't know why. Ear infections suck. Why did I go to school? But I went to school, and besides the ear infection, I was, like, feeling fine. So I was, like, being my normal self, socializing with kids at my table. And I, like, because I was practically deaf that day, like, could not hear my teacher at all. And apparently I was talking very, very loud. And my teacher, like, yelled at me about it. And, yeah, I don't know. I'm just really embarrassed by that. I don't really remember any other details besides the fact that I was just being very loud and because I could not hear yeah so that concludes all of my embarrassing stories I hope that you enjoyed hope that maybe this made you feel a little bit better about your embarrassing stories as well and remember to fill out the google form please I want some good embarrassing stories like do not hold back yeah if you enjoyed make sure you press the subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon to be notified every time I post a new video and I love you guys Thank you.